My name is David Kim. Hey, woo! And I decided to have this on my phone as well. So, this is weird. It's the first time I've actually been called an alumni. I've had a lot of realizations that I'm adult. I'm an adult now. Like the other day, I went to D&B's, David Buster's. It's like an arcade but with alcohol. And I was like, so this is what adults do after work on a Friday night. I'm an adult now. And this past weekend, I went clubbing. And I was like, so this is what adults do on a Saturday night. Cool. Anyway, so that has nothing to do with my speech. Um, so how I found BBA. I found BBA at Welcome Week. I actively searched for it. But you know how if you saw the booth this year at Welcome Week, it was like a gazebo thing. And you had like huge posters on a table. And it was probably very like cool and people approached you. When I went to Welcome Week, there was a table and one person sitting there and he didn't talk to me. And the table was wooden and like it was almost tipping over. So there's been a lot of changes, but the biggest thing that happened was when I went to Late Night at the Ark, right? Who went to Late Night at the Ark? All of you, some of you, rarely, rarely, anyway. So when I went there, if y'all were there, you saw that there was a battle, people just jumped in. That's what I did. And I met other people who were members who were like, yo, come to session. So I did. And I went to session and I felt left out. And I sat in a corner and practiced with my freshman friends. And it was like that for about three months. And then one of the members finally came up to me. I was like, whoa, finally, I'm, I'm one of you. But that goes to my next point where you go to BBA now and everyone's freaking friendly. Right? Like the moment you step in, someone's gonna be like, hey, I'm Lesmond, call me Puppy Chow. <laughs> and then he'll ask, he'll ask about you. And then he'll be like, oh, have you danced yet? Like, I can teach you some stuff. Oh, you know how to dance already? Cool. If you have any questions, let us know, right? But the thing is, of my four years in BBA, and all the performances I've done, and all the people I've met that have seen BBA perform, or have met people in BBA, the one thing that everyone says is, oh my god, they're so friendly and they're so fun to watch. And that's the one thing I feel distinguishes BBA from every other organization. Because the people in the club are so genuine. When you go there, okay, say you go to another club organization, another club meeting, everyone's nice, but it's like they're just nice because they want you to be in their club, right? They're like, oh, how are you, what's your name? And then they forget your name. But in BBA, like, they actually remember your name, I hope. And, like, they aren't sketchy. Like, they're super genuine just because they want you to fit in. And the thing with the board members and the other members in BBA is that they really care. And they accept you for who you are, because I'm freaking weird. They accepted me, which is really surprising. But, like, they, if you don't even want to be in BBA anymore, they're not going to hate you. If you, went, if you go to a session and they see you, and they see you, they, you stop coming out and they see you on campus, they're going to be like, hey, what's up? They're not gonna give you crap for not going to session, right? Cool, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, oh, I got a text. Cool. Yeah, um, yeah so another point. Um, as Wujin kind of pointed out, when you go to BBA, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can sit there the whole time, someone's gonna encourage you to dance. You can sit there if you want, you can practice whatever you want, and no one's gonna tell you what to do. And people are okay with that. If anything, they'll ask you, hey, do you need help? Do you need, are you working on anything? Can I help you out? Do you want a session? Do you want to go around? Do you want to cipher? And they're encouraging. And if you need help and you ask, they're going to be willing to help you. So in that case, in that situation, you can, you can improve as a dancer individually. But you can also improve as a group because BBA does performances as well. And how many performances do you do? Like two, three a year, right? So in these performances, you can audition for it, and then you go with the team that performs. And when you do these performances, you're gonna learn pieces that even if they're your style, it's not your style. Like, if you're a breaker, you learn someone else's breaking piece, you're moving in a different way. You're to learning someone else's moving and breaking. So in that case, you're still developing as an individual if you're part of a team in BBA. So it's a win-win situation. You wanna grow as a group, you wanna grow as an individual, Join BBA. If not, that's cool too. You can go somewhere else. Um, cool. But another thing we just said was freestyle performances, I believe, or Tim did. So one of some of my best memories came from freestyle performances because literally, you'll be walking by the student center terrace, which we were at earlier, and you'll be like, 
Oh, look, I'm going to go eat. Oh, there's music and they're performing. I'm going to run on stage and perform with them. And that's what I did, like almost all the time, because I forgot their performances sometimes. <laughs> so you have liberty to do that. Like that's kind of the beauty of freestyle. If you if you see me see people dancing, if you hear music, you just go dance too. And for me, those were my favorite moments. It's my first freestyle performance freshman year was at Phoenix Grill. That's what it's called. Yeah. yeah. Very first freestyle performance, and I was very nervous, and I had knee pads on, and I was scared that I would get rough burned. <laughs> but I don't care anymore, so yeah, so that's fun. So if you join BBA, you can just run on stage and perform with it whenever you want, most of the time. Um, now, as Lesman mentioned, I was also on board for three years. I was public relations for two years, and then for my third year, I was vice president with, with Allison as my president. And as Tien said, lots of stuff goes on behind the scenes, and you probably don't expect it, but as a board member, there's always something going on. There is, there's no such thing as balance when you're a board member and a dancer and you're trying to be a full-time student. Because like, being a board member is essentially like almost a full-time job, or at least a part-time job. So if you're working, if you're going to school, if you're dancing, if you're a board member, at the same time, your life is going to be stressful as hell. And if you ask me if I would do it again, I would totally do it again. Because besides all the stress, the rewards are huge. Like, Tia brought it up a lot. He brought up uh, Claim to Fame. That's a jam that BBA hosts at the end of the year. So much stress. But at the end of it all, everyone's cleaning up and it's like, whoa, I helped plan this. Like, you can say you planned a dance event. Like, imagine if you've heard of Vibe. Imagine you're able to say you hosted Vibe, but this is a better event. Um, yeah. So imagine that yeah. feeling. Like, imagine a feeling you're putting in work and you get to see the fruits of your labor and you get to see how great of every, like all the dancers are that come out to these events. Cool? So if you're thinking of being a board member, I say go for it, just know what to expect. A uh, few more things. Also, as Tien said, in BBA you're gonna meet a lot of weird people. Weird in a really good way. Um, they're gonna push you to be a really good person. And they're gonna support you in everything you do, whether it be dance or a student or whatever the hell else you're doing, like random shit, like building huge walls. Um, <laughs> and BBA is there whenever you need them. Like, if you need help studying, they'll be like, are you studying? And you'll be like, you'll get off Facebook, like, yeah, I'm studying. <laughs> so they'll, be, they'll help you like, with academics. They'll just, like, five of you get together in some random room in Middle Earth and then just study uh -huh. until like four in the morning. And they go home and be like, man, I didn't get anything done. <laughs> but, uh, but it was fun. And they'll be there if you get stranded somewhere and you need to get picked up. Like, they'll be there. So just know that if you join, you're in good hands, for the most part. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, but, so right now you might be like, on the fence of whether you want to join BBA. And if you dance, you belong there. Like, let's just say that. If you're kind of unsure, you still belong there. Because chances are you're super interested, that's why you have this orientation. But, whether you decide to join BBA or not, the main takeaway I want you to get from me as an alumni <laughs> is to just get involved, right? So you probably heard this from your, your spa staffers, from your parents maybe, from yeah. other people, but get involved. Like, if you get involved with BBA, great. If you decide not to do BBA, join some organization. Because of all the things I've said about it was anonymous so far is that the people are amazing. And I've made a lot of great friends, and joining organizations is how you're gonna meet friends. And whatever you decide to join, make sure that isn't the only thing you put all your time into. Okay, that sounds kind of bad, but for me personally, after a certain point when I was in BBA, I was like, yo, I gotta meet new people, because I've been around dancers all my life. What is it like to hang out with people who don't dance? Right, so that's why I kind of went MIA from BBA for a little while. And you know what, they're okay with that, they understand. Like, hey, David, go live your life. And I was like, cool, I'm gonna do that. So, whatever you do, diversify the people you meet because it's the people you meet who are gonna shape who you become throughout college, right? And at BBA, I was lucky enough to have met a diverse group of people, but being the person I am, I was like, I need more. So I joined other groups and met other people. So again, takeaway, meet people, make friends, find people who support what you do. Whether you find it in BBA or in another organization, it's up to you. But just make sure that 
you take risks, like join a BBA, which isn't a risk because you're going to be good, or join another club and you're good. Cool. <laughs> Great.